G'day guys, we've got an integration question today where the question is saying that the shaded region shown in the accompanying diagram is trapped between the x-axis, the y-axis, the line y equals 2 and the curve with the equation y squared equals 2x minus 4. Find the area of the shaded region. Now from memory, I think this question is worth 5 marks. So let's quickly put that down. So because it's worth 5 marks, it's a, like it's one of the more trickier questions but you know, it's not out of control. So there are many different ways, strategies, etc., that we could use to attack this question with. I'm just gonna, off the top of my head, the one that I would probably do with this question is I'm going to find the area that's bound between the line y equals two and the x-axis for the region zero to wherever the y equals two and this graph here intersects, so to here. Now the graph says y equals 4, but we'll just verify that first. So I'm going to find the area that's bound between that and the x-axis, which is that blue region plus this new region here. And then what I'm going to do is to get the blue region, I will subtract the area that's bound between the x-axis and this function between 2 and I'm fairly sure it's going to be 4. But let's just check what that point of intersection is. So let's go about it. We're going to work out what the point of intersection is between the line y equals 2 and y squared equals 2x minus 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute 2 into this second equation. So I have Two squared equals 2x minus 4. We've got 4 equals 2x take 4. Take the 4 across, we have 8 divided by 2. x is equal to 4. Cool, so we've just verified that that point there is going to be 4 comma 2. Great. So, First of all, the area that's bound between the line y equals 2 and the x-axis from 0 to 4, we can just like work that out using the area of a rectangle, is length times width, 4 times 2, so that area is equal to 8. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, so the area of the blue shaded region, let's just write this down, the area of the shaded region, it's going to equal, and by the shaded region I mean the blue one, 8, the total shaded region, subtract, now the area of this red shaded region. And the way we can work that out is we can take the integral from 0, from 0, from 2 to 4. Now this is going to be quite a difficult function to integrate, so what we're going to do here is we're going to make this y in terms of x rather than y squared in terms of x. So I'll just do that for us down the bottom here. So rather than being y squared equals 2x minus 4, we're going to say y is equal to the square root of 2x minus 4. Or, which is also equal to 2x minus 4 to the power of a half. This just makes it a lot easier to actually integrate. So, what we'll do is we'll put that in. So this can be 8 minus the integral from 2 to 4 of this function. Cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take the integral of this, so let's just get this, figure that out up here. So if we have 2x minus 4 to the power of a half, what we're going to do is we're going to increase the power by 1. So we're going to have 2x minus 4, increase the power by 1, so we have 3 over 2 because a half plus one is one and a half, or three over two. 
we then divide the function by the new power. So we can, rather than dividing it, we can just times it by the reciprocal. So this is going to be times by 2 over 3. And we also divide it, but we're going to times it by the reciprocal to make it easier on the math, by the derivative of the inside. So we're going to times this by a half, because the derivative of the inside is 2. So if we simplify this down, we're going to have 2 over 3 times 2, which is 2 over 6, or 1 over 3. Two x take four, power of three over two. Great. So let's use that in our next bit of working out. So we have this area is equal to eight minus square brackets because we're going to evaluate something a third of two x take four to the power of three over two evaluated between. 2 and 4. Cool. So this once we get to this point here of the 5 marks, we've probably got about 4 of them. So we all we need to do now is just the algebra to finish it off. So let's get to it. We've got... Let's just separate this. Because we're going to use this here to evaluate this part. So if we substitute the 4 into this function, we're going to have a third. 4 times 2 is 8. Take 4 is 4. So a third of 4 to the power of 3 over 2 minus, put 2 in. 2 times 2 is 4. Take 4 is 0. So everything's going to be 0. A third of 0 is still 0. So a Finally, this bit here is going to be 4 to the power of 3 is 64, divide, um, divided by 2. Square rooted is 8, so this is going to be 8 over 3, because 8 times a third is 8 over 3, or 8 thirds. So hence, the area of the shaded region is equal to 8, take 8 over 3, 8 when we express it as thirds, is 8 threes are 24, which is equal to 16 over 2 units squared, and that's our answer. Now, guys, the most important thing if you're in an exam or you're in a um, just doing your homework, get into the habit of when you start questions that are worth like five marks or more in one part. Like, when I'm not talking about questions that have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, whatever. I'm talking about ones that are five marks and you have a question and you have to get a five mark answer. Like an English essay or a response to an economics question that's worth a lot of marks. Have a think or a little plan to yourself, 30 seconds, whatever, about what the hell you're going to do. Like, What is your plan to solve this question? Because if you don't have a plan when you go in, you're not going to be able to present it in a way that the teacher understands and is going to be able to give you marks for it. And you're going to get halfway through and go, shit, I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go from here. So give yourself a like a couple of moments to then have a plan. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do this, and I'm going to, then I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do this. And if I follow that trajectory through, I'll get to my answer. Because if you don't have this plan, like my plan was when I started, was I'm just going to find the area of the rectangle and subtract this thing here. Alternatively, I could have flipped the entire um, Cartesian plane and just integrated it from 0 to 2 for a inverse of this y squared function. So, you know, there are all sorts of different ways you can do it, but come up with your method that you know has the steps to get to the end and then start. I promise in an exam it'll make your life a lot less stressful. But 
yeah, just do that. Make sure that you understand how to integrate. Make sure you also don't kook the algebra at the end. Don't do all the hard work and then the 10-year-old maths you stuff up at the end. But the only way you're going to be able to stop yourself from doing that, guys, is through practice. So I say this in most of my videos, practice, 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 practice. But keep making sure you're enjoying your maths and hopefully I'll see you next time. Oh, yeah, and by the way, Try to subscribe to my channels, guys. Um, you know, been getting a few new subscribers, but it's nice when the, the number count goes up. It's nice to hear that my videos are, uh, you know, appreciated. Um, but yeah, subscribe to my channel, like the video if it helped, and I'm sorry to uh, keep blabbing on at the end like this. Catch up.